Hey everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Last Videos. In this video I will show you how to customize your desktop to a certain view. Now I'll do this by basically customizing um, to my own feel, uh, but I will show you the steps and how to do different things so you can kind of see uh, what you can do and you can kind of use those uh, methods that I use to kind of make your own. So I'll kind of show you what's going to happen. So for my uh, sort of theme that I wanted to do, I'm going to go ahead and install a few things. In Ubuntu Software Center, I'm going to look for Docky. And now this is a dock program. Basically, is a, I'll show you what it does. But go ahead and install this if you want to do it this way. There are also other ones such as uh, On, Event Window Navigator, and there's a few others too if you kind of research for it. But I'll go ahead and uh, install Docky. I'll use Docky for mine. And then I want to do uh, Community Themes. Go ahead and install the first one. Uh, community themes and these are a few very nice themes that we can kind of play with also I will recommend installing the art manager just to kind of give you an idea I'll go ahead and install that now because I don't have it available okay so let's go ahead and begin I might say myself don't like the bottom bar sometimes I like to have it on sometimes I don't uh, but for my purpose I'm not gonna have it so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and delete this panel and delete. Now I don't have a panel anymore and I can't really manage my windows but that's where Docky comes in. This is a new up this application that will basically work just like the panel down there. If you're familiar with the Mac operating system you're probably familiar with the dock and here it is. This is the dock. Uh, this is the Docky not the Mac operating system dock but this is a kind of run on play with it and I think it's a lot more efficient and I'll show you how. First of all go ahead and click on the settings on the little anchor and you can kind of give yourself a different uh, theme for instance I like to have uh, let's see I like Mate it kind of matches the rest of the team uh, we can also add a new dock I'm gonna go ahead and make it there for docklets I'm gonna go ahead and do my bookmarks there these are basically the bookmarks and the places see these here these are now available here uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of little things here for desktop management uh, what else do I need? A mounter so I can mount my USBs and stuff. Um, trash so I can keep manage of that. And that's basically what I'll use there. Now on the bottom, I like to do a few things too. I like my session manager here. Uh, let's see. Uh, battery, no. Time. I have it up here so I don't need that. Uh, Gmail, I like to have my Gmail available, but I do have the uh, mail here available too, so it's kind of. Uh, too much stuff. Network manager, eh, I already have one there. Recent documents, oh, this is going to go here. Recent documents, where to go? Like that. And there we go. This is kind of a little setup that I usually have on my computers. Now I have two docs. I don't like a lot of the, I don't like this one to have the zoom available because it's kind of awkward. But of course, this is all my perspective. Uh, you don't have to go in the exact same way. I'm just giving you a little idea. Um, actually, let's go to a different theme. No, smoke. Smoke? No, let's go. Alright, I'll go air. Air is good. Alright, air. Alright, I'm taking with air. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a little bar here and stuff, a little here and there to kind of uh, mess around with. Now I'm going to change a little bit. Uh, I'm going to change my background, of course. Uh, one of the biggest things people want to do. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go to my other user because uh, he has better. My real user. This is just a user for. Uh, these tutorials. But I'm going to go ahead and find a good wallpaper. Where is one of my favorites? Okay, it was one that I made. Uh, okay, I like this one. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one. It's basically imported like that and just click on it to start it. Uh, so there we are. I'm going to change my theme. I like the default, but I don't like it that much. Alright, there we go, I'm going to do the wasp. <clears throat> now, I myself do like the how the buttons are on the left side. You don't have to do this, but I do myself. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. First, you might not have this enabled. Go to Edit Menus, right-click on the menus and go to Edit Menus. And here, go to System Tools and enable the Configuration Editor. In the Configuration Editor, uh, first let it come out. Maybe it didn't come out right. Okay, it came out. Alright, go to Configuration Editor. In here, we're going to go and uh, go into apps, uh, go into Nautilus. In here, go to, okay, where was it? Where was it? 
Uh, actually, wrong way. Hold on. Uh, Meta City. Meta City. There it is. All right. Cool. All right. In Meta City, go to General, and here you'll see this little button layout. This is basically the top bar. The menu is this little dot here, and then the minimize is that, the maximize is that, and the close is that. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move it around. Uh, let's see. Copy this. Get that out. Oh, wrong way. No, 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 no. Make sure you d you separate this by that. Um, there we go. But make sure you separate with those little uh, colons, semicolons, whatever it's called. And I'm gonna do it like this. Now there's easier ways to do this through the Ubuntu tweak, but I'll just show you this because it's uh, already available to you. So there we go. I have my buttons on the side there. There's other stuff you can do in here as well. Uh, different customizations. You can do world uh, key bindings. Uh, workspace names and so on and so forth but that's basically what I'm going to use that for my fonts I'm going to go ahead and change to 8 point because this 10 point is way too big you might not see it very well but it's a lot it's a lot better for me and it makes everything a decent size of course you can also do different things like change the actual font itself oh crap I lost it where did I? okay sans no 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 what did I have okay monospace monospace alright cool and there we go, visual effects, I have it on normal. Might want it on, you know, extra for a little wobbly. But, uh, oops. Put that back on normal. Uh, do notice that Docky does need, uh, your normal to be on. So that you can actually use the, um, so it can be pretty, basically. Now it's going to be a little choppy, and it's not going to have transparency and all this other stuff because your graphics aren't on. Otherwise, it can not still use it, it's just not very well. I'm gonna keep the settings. Uh, what else can we do? Okay, let's change some icons. Uh, okay, now I have my theme. This one right here. Oh, the button layout. Uh, do customize, and you can change a few things here as well, uh, which include the bars, uh, theming, stuff like that. Let's see, something different, something. Oh, I do like that. Okay, I'll stick with this. No, I don't like this. Never mind. I'll go with the wasp. I'll stick with the wasp. All right. Uh, under color, colors, you can go and change a few colors here. Selected items, uh, for instance, if I change this to orange, now when I do this, now you have orange here. Uh, selected things will be an orange color, so you can kind of customize that as well. And depending on the theme, it might do a different sort of, uh, like one of them, I remember, will actually change the buttons here to orange too. So you want to be careful with what you do, or which theme you pick. But there you go, I'll stick with blue. Window border, I do like this little uh, window. Ah, oh, dang it, the buttons are back. Stupid thing. Anyway, icons, you can change your icons depending on uh, what you have installed. Uh, I'll stick with the default, but you can change it here. And pointer, I like the black pointer. Uh, this will uh, be available after you restart or log out and log back in, so don't expect this to be like right in front, like right there. Oh, okay, let me change my buttons again. Alright, buttons change, and that's basically it. I mean, you can do a lot more. Uh, different applications let you do different customizations. You can install uh, this application here, the Mac, what is it called? The Mac Slows Cairo Dock, which is again in the software center. You can even install uh, stuff like screenlets or even Google Gadgets. You can install that as well. Uh, there you go. This is again little, I guess, widgets on your um, desktop. But you can also get uh, Google Gadgets, which I do like a lot better. Uh, but there's a lot to do, and this is basically how you kind of play around with it to give you a little feel. A few other things with the panel, you can add stuff to the panel, uh, different things. I usually add the force quit, so that if something starts force quitting, I don't have to go into my system monitor just to kill it. Just point there and then click on the application that's messing with me. And uh, I like my notes. I like my notes. Where's my notes? and my notes sticky notes sticky notes are fun uh, good for keeping information here and there and that's basically how I customize my desktop uh, thank you for watching a bunch of last videos I hope this was interesting kinda give you an idea of what you can do and be let known that this isn't the only thing you can do I have tutorials on how to make it look exactly like Windows or Mac this is just a little uh, sort of you know make it feel like your own computer sort of thing thank you for watching and uh, bye